What is going on guys, it is Jack here back once again with another Battlefield 4 video. Today I'm going to be doing something a little different. Today I'm going to be going through what I feel is the best class to get the most score out of. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run through a lot of information, but I'm just going to try and keep it nice and short and simple, but yeah, explain a lot of info that will help you and decide which class you know gives out the best score so you can level up faster if that's your sort of thing, I assume. It's kind of everyone's sort of thing, but yeah. So I'm going to be running through these four fundamental things to make you have a better score, and I'm going to get into each of these topics individually, and it'll all kind of mix together, and you'll just see. So first off, we have our class, gadgets, guns, and map. Now, the class, obviously, and the gadgets... Those make sense on how you could have a higher score, right? But the guns and the maps, that kind of seems probably to you like, well, that doesn't make a difference. A map doesn't give you a different score. Guns don't give you a different score. So how do the guns and maps play in? And I will definitely uh, get to that. But I just want to say right now that for the guns and maps, that is all opinion, okay? Uh, it's definitely an educated opinion. So what I say I feel is correct, but... You know, if you guys do extremely well with a different sort of gun than what I'm going to be listing in a little bit, then by all means use that and don't really take my opinion for that or, you know, have some sort of placebo effect to what I say or something. Just know that the guns uh, especially are pretty much all opinion, but are still a really good choice. So, and the maps, somewhat of an opinion, but the class and gadgets, uh, I'm 99% sure I'm not going to say 100, but... 99% sure I know which class is the best for scoring. I've looked into this and I know everything. Uh, I've done my research. So now let's just get right into this. Uh, so first off, the classes. Let's let's just run right through the classes. And to keep this nice and simple, we're going to take out the recon class completely. Okay, so recon, you're not going to be wanting to run recon at all. Uh, recon is not the best class to get a very good score. For all you snipers out there, yes, you might not like this opinion, but, I mean, let's just face it, it is the truth. You know, when you think of a typical recon, you will think of snipers, but even if you're running something like the AK-5C or something, you still don't have uh, gadgets that will give you a lot of points, and I'll get into the gadgets in just a little bit. Second off, we're just going to take out the engineer class. So we have recon out, and now we have engineer. So engineer, taking that out because this, once again doesn't have the gadgets that will give you the points that it should and i'm sure you guys all know what gadgets i'm talking about but uh i'll get into those in just a second so uh engineer you know as much as you love using that rocket launcher as much as you take out vehicles you just won't get the same amount of points as the two classes that i'm about to say the gadgets for sort of so with those two out, it leaves you with the only two classes, which is Support and Assault. Now, these are my two most used classes in Battlefield, if you check out my battle log. But for, for me, these two are the ones that will give you the most, uh, you know, bang for your buck sort of thing. And that is because if you run the right gadgets with these two classes, you will make a lot of points. And those two gadgets, not surprisingly, are the Ammo Bag and the Med Kit. And I'm talking about the big bags, not the little broken patch like little like i'm not talking about the little bags i'm talking about the lunch boxes so those the two big lunch boxes those are the things that i'm talking about and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to tie in what i was meaning by the maps and the gadgets and the classes i'm going to tie this all in and explain how you can have the most points with this with these two classes so where what I'm trying to get at with the maps is if you are running on say a larger map such as Silk Road, Goldmud Railway, Parasol Storms, you're not going to need that med bag as much because players are more dispersed and when you come across the player, half the time they're probably going to be at full health, half the time they won't be and you know if you're lucky enough a couple of revives here and there. And while that's great and all to be running medic the best, in my opinion, for larger maps, I'm talking about the ones, I'm talking about pretty much every map except for maps like Locker and uh, Operation Metro and maybe Pro Market or Flood Zone, but for the big large maps, the best bang for your, the best score you can get is with a support player, and I'm saying that 100% truthfully, and I believe that this is the best class because 
you run with your ammo bag, and if you see someone on the battlefield, even though it's spread out, if you see someone on the battlefield, they are almost guaranteed to be able, they are almost guaranteed to need ammo. So, having that ammo bag, throwing it down, definitely a great choice, because that will give you the ammo, and it will give you a lot of points for that. And then for your second gadget, run C4, because that's always good to take out the vehicles, and when you're on the larger maps like that, Taking out the large vehicles is something you obviously want to do. You do get a lot of points for that. So, for larger maps, run support with the ammo uh, lunchbox and the C4. Now, what I'm also trying to get at with the weapons, and like I said, this is all opinion, but I'm trying to tie this in to make sure you get the best, best score possible. And for weapons, I would do something that would be good for medium uh, long range and you know if you're lucky enough short range and for me I would run the MG4 or the AK5C or something like that okay because that'll give you a great range on pretty much uh, every single range possible so that'll ensure that whether you're going into cap a flag whether you're running to a flag and you see a guy in the distance you'll be able to pick them off get the kill get some points for that and then obviously run to the flag and get the points now um, obviously, if you want, of course, the most points, you will have to also uh, play the objective as well as doing what I'm saying to do. And um, so for the long range or for the big maps, the best setup right here, guys, if, if you're going to learn anything this entire video, it's this right here. The best score is if you run support with the ammo lunchbox, the big ammo bag, C4 and you're running a gun like the MG4, AK5C, or say the ACWR, that right there, if you just run that right there, do what the gadgets are meant to do, you will, without a doubt, score a lot of points, okay? And obviously, like I said, play the objective, in addition to exactly what I just said about five seconds ago, and you will make up, uh, you will make a ton of points, including if you have some XP boost, you will make up a ton. But now, where you know things could differ is for the close range maps okay and this is where the assault really does shine and for the close range maps the reason i would run assault is for two reasons one you have your medic lunchbox the medic big medic bag and that will he heal anyone in the vicinity and since you're in a close range map chances are a lot of them will be low on health because they're getting shot or explo like explosions happening or you know, they got shot, and since there's so many people just all clumped up together, pop down a um, uh, health lunchbox, and you will get the points, a ton of points from that. As well, if you revive, and I can't emphasize this enough, revive, 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 revive. If you revive a ton, like, if all you do is revive and don't get many kills, you will still get more points than people who get kills, okay? That's kind of an iffy thing, but but a lot of the times, just make sure you revive, okay? It, 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 I mean, it's there's no con to it. You're getting points and you're helping the other guy out by reviving him. Just make sure you have your full paddles on and you don't do it if they're in an open area where enemies are firing, but that's for another video. So for the gadgets, I would recommend running, um, obviously, Assault. For, this is for close quarters maps. Run Assault, Medic Bag, Medic Lunchbox, and the defibrillators. Now, for the gun, this is where obviously these differ, just like for the long, um, big maps. But for close uh, quarters, I would recommend running something like the FAMAS, uh, the MG4 again, uh, you know, P90, AK, uh, CZ305, I believe it's called, or something like that. You know what I'm, you know, I'm talking about? Those would, those are the best guns for uh, for close range, in my opinion, and that that gun with the class and all the gadgets that i just said if you play the gadgets how they're supposed to and you use the gun how you're supposed to and you play the objective you will capture or you will just take in a ton of points okay so quick run through now for uh i'm just gonna really simple right here so for big maps right here okay big maps support ammo box c4 and something like the MG4, or AK5C, or ACWR, or something along those lines. For close quarters, assault with the medic bag, defibrillators, and a gun like the FAMAS, MG4, P90, AK, just a close range gun like that, okay? And um, yeah, I try to compress this video into a nice little short clip, 
and hopefully I did this, but I hope you guys understood what I was saying, and hopefully you guys take this and use this on the battlefield, because it truly is uh, an amazing way to gain uh, some score in the in battlefield. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna be uh, leaving town in the next couple days, but I'll definitely have I'll have a video up though over the weekend, so you guys won't have a drought. So yeah, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys later. Have fun on the battlefield. Peace out.